my name is Jenny Robin and welcome to my YouTube channel, another video once again. Today we're doing more dance in the studio, we're doing point ballet today. And what I want to do with this one is I want to compare doing really classical ballet photography to a more contemporary feel. So the classical stuff we're going to do, you know, the, the leotards and the ballet suits and things like that. And then we're going to turn it into a more of an emotive feeling because ballet, like dance, it's all, it's all an art form, it's a form of expression. Basically, it's two artists working together and we're gonna try to interpret a bunch of stuff, some stuff surgically and some stuff for fun. And we're gonna see how it looks. <laughs> and I'm fucking rambling again. <laughs> For the lighting today, I'm using a three light setup right now. I am doing a large PLM overhead, which is gonna create this big, nice, soft, pretty light over top. So we're always gonna have to be mindful of the chin up. And then on the side, I have two strip lights here. And what these are gonna do is add a really nice highlight to either side of her body. It's gonna add a nice little highlight around the shoes or on her hands as she's moving through space. All right, setup number one, classical dance photography. Let's go do it. Yeah, so basically just curious about like which poses we want to start with, which ones we want to warm up with, stuff that's like easy on the joints and the feet and everything. Um, so which ones are you thinking about? It's probably like the like PK onto point, maybe not like balancing for ages. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Smaller <laughs> extensions and stuff to start with. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to keep you like right about here-ish, we want to make sure that you, when you're looking, you can see the most amount of these rectangles uh, from the softbox. Okay, one, two, three. Perfect. Oh, your foot is going to be right over that box. So if you want to do that, yeah. So if you, um, yeah, just like wiggle this way a little bit more. Tiny bit more, yeah, good there, right there. Yeah, that'll be fine, yeah. The joys of working with people with million mile long legs and arms. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> one, two, three. Nice. Okay, one, two, three. Beautiful. Yeah, very nice. There it is. That's gorgeous. Music box dancer. I like this is better. Yeah, yeah. For anything that we're tipping back, that's really nice. Okay, well that one's gorgeous. Uh, do we wanna do wanna change outfit into another piece? Okay. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see. Oh yeah. Um, but if your head is tipping back, we'll face you the other way. Yeah, yeah. I'm shooting from quite low right now because your hands are going up, but if your hands are going back in attitude, I'll shoot from a slightly higher angle because right now, obviously, your hands are getting cut off by your leg, which, if I'm shooting from a slightly higher angle, is not gonna happen because your hands are not actually dropped that low. I think the more turned is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then just turn it to five. What's happening? Tall here? people for the win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Okay. Perfect. One, two, three. Gorgeous. Anika requested that we shoot an arabesque, and if you've ever photographed dance photography, chances are you photographed said pose because it's very popular. It's beautiful and it's, again, a very classic shot. One of the things that people ask for when you're going for auditions is often a photo of an arabesque. Again, this is why we're shooting this type of lighting. These are images that she can take to auditions, and that will hopefully help land her more work.
For this next setup, I wanted it to look a little more softer, a little bit more painterly, so less precise lighting, uh, definitely more feminine, a um, little more storytelling. So what I did is I kept my PLM overhead just because I really like that light and I use it admittedly a lot. <laughs> and then I took two white foam boards and I put them on either side. I have them set to a really low power. So they're only just gently filling in the shadows that would be created from the overhead light. So right now my ELC 500 to the right of me is set at 0.7 and to the left is 0.5. So it's really not very strong. And then my overhead PLM is set to 5.0. Now we had to raise it up because Anika is really tall. <laughs> and so when I had to raise it up, I had to turn the power up as well so that um, we have enough light coming down to light her properly. Basically with this outfit, the clothing tells a little bit more of a story as well. So I want to see what Anika can do with the outfit, with posing, with this gigantic fan blowing and stuff like that, and just creating these really dreamy, beautiful, ethereal dance portraits. But this is light up set. But this is lighting setup number two. And uh, let's go take some photos one more time because I'm super awkward. All right, so with this one, we have this like fucking awesome ass outfit from Lewis Mayhem. So we get to kind of play with it. So kind of. I don't want to like tell you how to move with this because I want to see how you interpret it. I want to be able to capture you doing your art as opposed to me telling you how to do your art. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Let's do things. Let's do things. <laughs> One, two, three. Pretty. I love the hand in the hair with the hair falling. That's really nice. Okay. One, two, three. Gorgeous. Yeah, and to, for the record, I'm cool if hair goes in your face. I love hair in people's faces when I'm doing photography, so don't stress. Like, if you happen to get, like, some strays or whatever, I always think it looks really nice, especially with, like, storytelling images and storytelling poses, which is kind of where we're leaning into here. Yeah, so these ones here, they get, like, a little more... Uh, we wait for, like, the genie to give us something sweet because it's like we're not only posing you now, but we're also working with, like, the fabric and your hair and everything else, so it's like it all needs to line up now. Um, but that also makes it really fun. That's really nice. I know that was a test shot, but it's really nice. <laughs> okay, well, let's try some food. So you don't mind if I come into your bubbly bubbles? Okay, sweet. Um, so yeah, this is this is a lot of fabric. <laughs> like, how do we? This is the the mystery part. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three. Ooh, yeah, that's nice, actually. That like that gives a nice swirl. Look at that, woo! This might be an outfit that we can pull that rebounder in for, because we can get you to do like the, um, like with the feet come out and tap the heels. Yeah, 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 but like this. So satisfying. <laughs> So we decided to do one more outfit change with a little bit more delicate posing, uh, just to kind of cool things off, you know, like towards the end of the shoot, kind of calm things down. Um, very delicate, very pretty, very storytelling, uh, just 
kind of what I absolutely love. I kept the lighting the same. Uh, the dress is this really beautiful light chiffon material, so it moves just gorgeous with a little bit of movement from the fan in her body, and I'm pretty stoked about the results. For this last set, I did change over to my 24105. Uh, the dress strap with the big green, it was so big, I couldn't really fit it into the 70 to 200. The compression kind of made everything seem really small. So I grabbed my 24105 to kind of like stretch things out a little bit. But for these last shots, I also just left the 24105 on. I shot just a little bit wider than I normally do. Uh, just because, I mean, sometimes it looks really nice. Not every single dance portrait has to be shot at 70 or longer. Uh, sometimes shooting around the 50 to 35 range can look really pretty. We'll call that a wrap then. All right. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which images you'd like in the comments if you're kind of more of the, the precise dance photography fan or if you like the softer, more emotive stuff. I'm super curious to see what everyone thinks because I love them both. Big love to Anika for joining us today in the studio. Super awesome, loved working with her and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to do it again. Make sure you follow Anika on Instagram and social media. I'll make sure that her link to her profiles are in the comments below because she's f***ing rad. Now it's awkward to have to do it a second time. Hey. <laughs> uh, that's all, folks.